What's up, Everyday Blades? And I got a couple of cool pawn shop treasures today. One semi cool and one really cool. Let's start with the semi cool. It's definitely not a shred, but this is a similar pouch that they come in. Um, but I've, in my experience, the pouches get kind of ratty after a while. This is a Franklin Mint Knife. This one is a Harley Davidson Cycles. <clears throat> um, Kind of tribute you see they always have that franklin mint seal and these are not user knives these are kind of collector knives and they're not expensive they're they're inexpensive uh especially on the secondary market i bought i think i have 10 or 15 of them i bought at pawn shop for like ten dollars and they're just super cool man that this one's probably not as cool as some of the other ones but like this one this coke bottle one is super cool man it's super high quality I mean, the blade steel is probably nothing to write home about. I'm sure it's 440C or something, but this is just not a knife you're going to carry and use, or most people wouldn't. And then this one is super cool, too. This is Coke machine. I mean, these knives are heavy, man. They're, they're, they're built. I mean, they're quality as far as the construction of the knife. Just probably not a super high-quality blade steel. And the knives come moderately sharp. They're not really, you know, razor blade sharp, but thought that was cool wanted to show that to you this is probably the least of my favorites but i just want to add it to the collection since it was so cheap because they normally didn't knew they definitely didn't sell for you know ten dollars so i'll throw that in a display case with the rest of them this one is what we're really talking about today i was not aware i figured probably somewhere there was a buck custom but i figured it was a buck 110 that somebody customized this is a handmade custom buck 110 by navajo artist dave yellow horse and that is about the extent that i know about it and to find something like this in a pawn shop is just very cool i cleaned it up it was pretty tarnished uh the turquoise in this is just beautiful i'll give you a closer look at it and i don't know what the scale i believe the scales are brass they're either brass or bronze i'm pretty sure they're brass and then the only unfortunate thing about this knife is it looks like this centerpiece came out at one time and then somebody epoxied it back in and they got it crooked and there's a piece like messed up right there. But overall, you know, they got it in there halfway decent and I wish they had just left it out. I would have put it back in correctly, but it's in there now. So if anybody knows how to get that epoxy to release, throw a comment down there because I'd like to take it out and put it back together correctly. Uh, I'm going to polish it up, clean it up real nice. Uh, <clears throat> the blade looks like it was maybe used a few times. It's got some scratches on it. doesn't look like anybody carried it for any amount of time, but the show side of this is just beautiful. And the case is very nice, too. It's got the plaque. shows who made it. But anyway, uh, so I got this for like $70 uh, after quite a bit of haggling. I uh, looked on uh arizona custom knives and they're about selling for like 3.95 anywhere between three and four hundred dollars so that was a good score um of course with the damage it's probably it's probably less or it is going to be less but either way 70 dollars can't go wrong uh that'll make a nice display in somebody's uh somebody's collection not really my thing but i knew somebody would want it so i picked it up anyway guys that's it that's what we picked up today God bless you and your families. Say a prayer for our country. Good night.